What's up guys, this is Tom Burkhardt from Car Rips Daily uh, for a performance drive review in the new 2017 Kia Cadenza Limited. So Cadenza, so this car, I'm sure you've read many, many great things and watched great videos of this car where Kia is attempting to uh, to take market share from everybody from Lexus to, uh, to Buick to Mercedes-Benz with their extremely impressive new large front wheel drive entry luxury machine. So this Cadenza, is very impressive um, and I really wanted to see if it lives up to the hype in person uh, and it really does uh, drives great looks very very cool and um, and has a lot of interesting um, interesting stuff going for it um, is it a 5 series beater at this point I'm not sure if we ever go that far but um, out of this performance drive um, I want to head up to a very twisty road so that we can see how Cadenza uh, holds up when you when you are asking a lot of it of course, the car's primary rival is like the Lexus ES350, so um, not a, a ton of performance coming out of that car um, and with, a, with a real wallowy handling feel, but um, Cadenza really banishes that. It has a very convincing, sporty, planted feel. Um, so uh, in this drive review, we want to cover like three big sections. Um, the first is like how, how the Cadenza drives, how it handles, um, and how it compares versus rear-wheel drive sedans um, in terms of it's uh, it's entertainment value, speed, uh, and overall handling poise. Then the second section is um, who the car really competes with and, and what advantages Cadenza has over some vehicles um, like Maxima and uh, and Chrysler 300, as well as um, you know Avalon and uh, and some Lincolns and the Buick Cross. And then third, we'll talk about this particular Cadenza Limited with everything standard and its pricing from forty four thousand dollars. Um, or at forty four thousand dollars, um, so that's really cool. Okay, so first off, there were a couple of things that I wanted to test, you know, for myself about Cadenza after reading it and seeing all these great things about it. I really wanted to see how good, the, how good um, the chassis felt, how rigid it felt, um, and uh, next I wanted to see about steering feel, which has been a worry um, on a couple uh, Kias from from five or ten years ago. And, um, and next, what was really excited to see the interplay with this new 8-speed automatic. This is the first 8-speed for in the Hyundai lineup, and it pairs with the 3.3-liter V6 as standard. So the car makes 290 horsepower, 252 foot-pounds of torque, really good brakes, really, really strong. It's like uh, the pedal feels like hitting a wall. It's extremely firm and confidence-inspiring. Very, very little torque steer. Even coming around that bumpy corner with my foot floored, um, car maintains composure and uh, and speed and is gaining speed rapidly. So um, so how does the rigidity feel? Chassis rigidity feels off the charts. So this car has 54% of its entire chassis is high strength steel. So despite feeling super super strong and rigid, um, it only weighs like 3,700 pounds. So it's actually pretty light um, and performs a great basis uh, per, or excuse me serves as a great rock solid mounting point for this new and heavily performance optimized. Um, and tuned four-wheel independent suspension. So I don't mean that it rides harshly in a performance optimized way, I just mean that Hyundai and Kia, um, the Kia's parent company Hyundai, have spent a ton of time and engineering effort to make sure that this car um, absolutely handles like a dream and is up to uh, the task of taking on its European and Japanese luxury rivals. And I think they've really done it. I mean, this car really handles, has near zero torque steer, um, very, very little understeer in fact, and, uh, and overall, a very, very impressive dynamic on the road. So, we met, as we mentioned, brakes feel good. Steering itself feels really good. This is the electronic, uh, the, um, the MPDS, the Motor Driven Power Steering System, which, uh, which I think is just now tuned to excellence because it really provides a lot of feel and uh, like a lot of feel while being um, very, very direct and precise and accurate. So that's, these are all like really, really impressive things. So how about that eight-speed automatic? Okay, so this eight-speed is a real gem in this car. It really um, it serves its purpose as a torque multiplier in the best possible way. So even though at 290 horsepower and 252 foot-pounds of torque, we're down, um, you know, down 10 horsepower and down like 48 foot-pounds of torque versus Maxima. But does it feel it? No, it does not. I mean, this car's uh, uh, times from like Car and Driver and some of the big guys have been about 6.8 seconds to 60. I would wager it's more like a, uh, like maybe 6.5 seconds. So in that regard, only about a half second down on Maxima itself. 
but has significantly less torque steer um, and a far more exciting um, run up the rev range. Because of course we have traditional gears and we've got paddle shifters. So I can come into third and I can come into second. It just barely gave me a second there. But I can leave it in third, you know, and have really precise control of the car. Seems, suspension seems to breathe over these bumps, but keep it feeling extremely planted and grippy. I mean, I really thought the car might fall apart because I've been driving for a couple days and I was like, wow, this, you know, Cadenza's really, really good. But um, I really thought it might fall apart on this road and I'm, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised that it is, uh, it is holding its own very nicely. Engine even sounds kind of good. Um, it's just an extremely impressive sedan on this road, uh, the most challenging road I could find within 100 miles of my house. So for it to be this good here is a huge achievement for Kia, um, for their engineers, and I salute them. But it's a real, uh, a huge win for buyers. So this uh, this cadenza starts from 34,000 or about 33, uh, and then with delivery is about 34 out the door and then you can get a tech package to take the total to uh, about 39 and then this limited package which has um, cooled seats this like sort of suede headliner um, giant moonroof I gotta get out of here. giant moonroof um, I mean it runs the gamut triple beam LED low beams LED daytime running lights with uh, that are um, in the amber for a very unique look quad LED fog lamps and uh, I mean, like power trunk. What is some other good stuff that, that you really have to pay for on other luxury cars? The surround view monitor, um, awesome backup cameras, proximity sensors, blind spot monitor, heads up display with blind spot in the heads up display, uh, lane departure warning, auto, uh, like extendable seat base glob, and that white Napa leather seats with this nice sort of quilting effect. I mean, it's just like, it, the list keeps going and going and going. And it's all very, very convincing. I mean, this is a very strong entry. So it's, it seems like a really good car. I'm genuinely impressed. Um, so how does it fare? Obviously, it's. I think it handles better than Maxima. I think it might be a little more fun to drive than Maxima. Um, definitely the case versus ES350. Um, but uh, but there is some stuff like it. You know, at highway speeds, the steering is loses some of the precision that it has um, in a performance drive like this in sport mode. Um, you, you get you lose a little like on center um, directional stability at speed, and uh, maybe there could be a little more lateral support in the seats. Besides that, I can't really. I genuinely cannot think of, of places where um, Cadenza is falling short. This is a, a really really terrific car. The rumors are true. The buzz is definitely true about this Cadenza. Seriously good value, seriously good steer, and a seriously compelling alternative to the 5 Series and E-Class size vehicles of the world at a lot less money. So um, go check it out. 2017 Kia Cadenza is, uh, is a new face for Kia and um, a new era for the brand because this car loves to handle. I can't wait to get my paws on the new uh, real performance sedan they have that coming out called the uh, Stinger. So we'll see you guys next time. This is Tom Burkhardt for Car Rev Daily in the 2017 Cadenza Limited.